what's up beautiful people listening to Roma. welcome to the channel today we're going to be checking this video from greg from the black conservative perspective and it's titled high school boys immediately tear down tampon dispenser in boys bathroom as they reject new woke law wow interesting high school boys are tired of the nonsense they are not gonna buy into the nonsense or the work nonsense and i'm here for it i'm here to see this so yeah let's check it out principal here at brookfield high school says this isn't the first time there's been vandalism in the bathroom broken stall doors soap dispensers things getting stuffed in the toilets but it is the most egregious example just 20 minutes after this tampon dispenser was installed in the boys' room of Brookfield High School, it was ripped from the wall. They already have like the nurse's bathroom and they have an all-gender one, so I don't really care, but it's just not that big of a deal. Student Alistair Gall tells Fox 61 he thinks there's more important things to talk about than bathroom vandalism. We've been doing that for like the past three years. I just feel like it's kind of getting blown out of proportion. Brookfield High Principal Mark Belanda sent this message to students and staff saying he was disheartened, dismayed, and disgusted. But there are others, including state lawmakers, who are just as disgusted the dispensers were put up at all. Rather than debate this policy, I'll just simply say that I don't approve it. I don't believe that uh, it's good public policy. The constituents in my district have expressed their dismay over it. The installation of tampon dispensers is the result of a new state law pushed through on the final day of a legislative session. The law states boards of education shall provide free menstrual products in women's restrooms, all gender restrooms, and at least one men's restroom. But some on the other side think it's another example of injecting controversial ideology into education. This quickly uh, became a big issue in my district. It was all over social media and people commenting and raising concerns. Brookfield police also showed up at the school today. They say out of concern for student safety, the school will reinstall the tampon dispenser. They believe they know who was responsible. Reporting outside Brookfield High School, Matt Karen, Fox 61, Connecticut's news station. All right, guys, so we got to talk about a pretty amazing story out of Connecticut involving Brookfield High School and some boys who decided that they had enough, right? They had enough of wokeness being pushed on them, specifically in their bathroom, uh, because they ripped out a tampon machine 20 minutes after it was installed in the boys' restroom and now this story is going viral because the woke principal of the school is boohoo whining and complaining about what the boys did and you know people are saying that it was hateful and bigotry when this is what boys do i'm not sure exactly what they expected to happen but uh we got to talk about it because this is becoming a national news story but all gender <laughs> you have to be kidding me Women's bathroom, all gender bathroom, and men's bathroom. So why did they now go to put the tampon in boys' bathroom in, if they have all gender bathroom? Why? But I love that the high school because they can do the nonsense to other people, but not in high school because these people, they don't want that nonsense. They pulled it out 20 minutes after installation. These boys, they vex, so oh. Jeez. Then they vex. And I love this. And I love to see this. Because no, what is that? For high school. All gender. Tampon inside. Boy, what did man they use tampon do? We just don't get tired of seeing this. Man, tampon. Man, they use tampon. Fitting tampon, the fitting tampon dispenser defined for man bathroom, boy bathroom for that matter. But I, at the same time, I love that the young boys or those high school boys don't want this nonsense and they finally stood up or woke up to this. This is what we love to see. But yeah, let's go on. In September, a new state law will require public schools to provide free menstrual products in all gender bathrooms and at least one men's bathroom. Brookfield High School started the mandate early by placing a dispenser with tampons 
in a boy's bathroom. Yeah, but within minutes, that dispenser was ripped off the wall. NBC Kinetics' Briseida Landa Verde joining us live now in Brookfield with more details on that. Hi, Briseida. Yeah, good evening, Amber and Kevin. Now, we're told that the high school uh, principal sent a letter to families notifying them that within just 20 minutes of that tampon dispenser being placed, it was vandalized. Now, NBC Connecticut has not independently attained a copy of that letter. There is mixed reaction in Brookfield and surrounding towns after female hygiene products were placed in a boy's bathroom at the high school in town. There's never an excuse for vandalism, but I am a firm believer that tampons don't belong in the boy's bathroom. I think right. <laughs> they don't belong in a boy's bathroom. Exactly. Okay, I mean, this should not be something that's up for debate in a first world country, right? But unfortunately in the West, uh, it is a debate, okay? Uh, we shouldn't have this, okay? This is common sense. I'm not sure exactly what they thought the outcome would be of putting tampons in a boy's bathroom, okay? Um, I'm not sure exactly why you're allowing students of the opposite sex to use that bathroom. So what is the actual function of tampons in a boy's bathroom, right? Because you shouldn't be allowing them to use uh, the bathroom of the opposite sex. So what are they going to do with it, okay? What are they going to put it up their nose? In their mouth, up their butt, right? At that point, it becomes a hazard, right? They're going to play with it. They're going to, you know, vandalize things. They're going to do what boys do, okay? I mean, this is common sense. But again, we're lacking common sense as a society. And this is how you get stories like this. I think that um, people who have a certain gender, who identify with a certain gender, should be able to use the bathroom that they identify with. If, and if they need these products, they should have them. It's all part of a state law. Beginning in the Insane. fall of this year, Board of Eds will be required to provide free menstrual products in women's restrooms, all gender restrooms, and in at least one men's restroom for students in grades three through 12. The Brookfield superintendent said in a statement, after the installation of the dispenser last week, it was ripped down from the wall. The school will continue to follow the law, which mandates where menstruation products are to be located. The school would not comment further on student discipline. One parent in town who wishes to stay anonymous applauds the high school for taking action and hopes more education regarding the topic will be discussed amongst families. I only hold the schools responsible to a point. It we're taught what we're taught, and if we're taught hate, it's going to come out in other places. So Here we go, hate and bigotry, right? It's hate and bigotry right. because a tampon dispenser, which doesn't belong in a boy's bathroom, was torn down, right? That's hate and bigotry. I guess the boys are hateful for doing that. Absolutely amazing stuff. <laughs> Absolutely amazing stuff. We really are living in Google for Cocoa Puffs world, guys. So I commend the school for getting on top of the issue for talking to the kids already about the incident and trying to put it in the right light. Again, school officials tell us they will continue to follow the law, which officially goes into effect September 1st. Live in Brookfield, Priscilla Landa Verde, NBC Connecticut News. Back wow, incredible stuff. Complete waste of taxpayer dollars. Now, this is the principal here who labeled this uh, an egregious instance of vandalism and destruction of property in an email to students and staff. So this guy, who uh, appears to be a staunch liberal progressive, uh, was upset, right? He's super mad about something that shouldn't have been in the bathroom in the first place. Um, and this is something that's happening kind of all over the country, as you have pictures here. Now, yeah, this one looks a little Photoshopped, right? This one, this one might be Photoshopped, okay? I'm just saying by the shadows, but you guys get the picture, right? Um, yeah, I mean, this is happening... In different parts of the country where you have boys that are uh, stuffing tampon <laughs> dispensers in toilets, okay? Uh, it's actually pretty hilarious, okay? This image is, is pretty hilarious. Again, it shows you why this just doesn't make sense at all. This shouldn't even be a thing. In fact, nobody should be surprised considering how apparently... Young boys are trending more conservative. Welcome to the fairest show on television. First tonight, the war against toxic masculinity is backfiring. Republicans are telling men to be what they want to be. Democrats are telling men to be ashamed of what they are. Both might be reasonable positions, but they have predictable results. Our partners at The Hill report the pushback from young men is tangible. According to researchers at the University of Michigan, 23% of 12th grade boys call themselves conservative. 
That's compared to 13% who identify as liberal. 50 years ago, those numbers were basically reversed, with 25% as liberal and 17% as conservative. Here's Daniel Devise from The Hill. And that really surprised me because we've read so many headlines saying that young people are getting more and more and more liberal, young people, period, right? And that ain't so, uh, at least when you break it down by gender. When you tell young men to drastically change what it means to be men, they might agree for a little while and then they revolt. Even the New York Times is seeing this. Democrats and Republicans are living in different worlds, writes Thomas Edsel. One of the core differences between Republicans and Democrats lies in their views on family structure. Ipsos asked residents, whether respondents, whether they agreed or disagreed with the following statement. Traditional family structure with a wage-earning father and a homemaking mother best equips children to succeed. Republicans agreed 52-24. Democrats disagreed 59-16. Few of any political issues show that kind of mirror divide. As in all divides, politics flows downstream of culture. The idea of what it means to be a man didn't come from our politicians. Politicians just capitalize on it and in one way or another tries to exploit it. For example, 68% of Republicans say the Democratic Party is hostile to masculine values. 27% of independents say the Democratic Party is hostile to masculine values. 31% of Americans agree Democrats is hostile to masculine values. I think that's supposed to say Democrats agree, but we'll double check it. Yeah, so you're seeing that, you heard that, okay? Uh, young boys are rejecting wokeism, right? They're rejecting mm -hmm. the far left, apparently, okay? I mean, I think it makes sense, okay? I, I really do think that it makes a whole lot of sense that young boys would reject this type of nonsense. Um, exactly. And that's why nobody should be surprised about the result of this little experiment here. I'm just saying. I'm not sure why we're spending taxpayer dollars on this, but this is what they do, okay? This is what they spend your money on, and then they turn around every single year and have their hands out asking for uh, more taxes, right? They want more tax dollars to spend on stuff like this. They also claim that they did it because of uh, so-called period poverty, which, you know, hey, I'm also skeptical of that as well, too, <laughs> this idea that we have to give out free uh, tampons in uh, bathrooms because apparently girls are so poor that they can't afford tampons in their bathroom. I don't know. I'm not a woman. I'm not a girl. I don't have any, you know, girls or children, anything like that. So it's hard for me to speak on that. I just feel like it's a waste of taxpayer dollars. Uh, I think parents should be responsible for providing their kids with hygiene products. I think that uh, school should provide the basic necessities, right? Toilet paper, soap, okay, uh, paper towels, things like that. Um, but, you know, hey, I'm not necessarily as upset about tampons being where they're supposed to be even if they're provided for free, okay, on taxpayer dime, as I am about tampons being provided in places where they're not supposed to be on tam on taxpayer dime. And again, I'm not sure exactly what these people expected would happen, right? Did they think that these tampons would actually get used? No, they're not going to get used, okay? They're going to be used as objects to play with in the bathroom, okay? And this type of stuff is bound to happen, okay? Because, mm -hmm. you know, if you had common sense, you would know how this was going to end up before you even enacted this insane law. But hey, this is the country we're living in, guys. Let me know what you guys think. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Most importantly, share a black conservative perspective. Peace. My question is, I don't even care if they want to provide uh, tampons for women. Like, yeah, they should do it. It is fair providing. But what in tampon they do for men's bathroom or boys' bathroom? Do men see period? I be do men experience or see men have menstrual cycle or menstrual flow or what is the nonsense is this? We've been seeing this on the rise, but this one in particular. Why is there tampon dispenser in a boy's bathroom? High school, high school, and they already have all gender bathroom. They already have female bathroom. So why is the dispenser not in the all gender bathroom? They carry it and put also in the boys' bathroom to do what? Man, they see period. I be man, they menstruate. Because I am trying to understand. And this is what they are teaching high school boys. 
and you expect them not to convert and be conservative because people are tired of the work nonsense imagine what they're telling teaching kids in high school of course boys are gonna be boys it is it is not even new but I can't even believe that adults don't want to use their common sense boys teens have to even teach them or let them know what common sense is tampon dispenser in a boys bathroom <laughs> nothing musa never see forget to. nothing musa never see forget i bet waiting be this waiting be this waiting be waiting be this waiting be this jesus 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 Ha <laughs> blood of Jesus, blood of Jesus. What be this? Jesus is Lord. They never cease to amaze me. But of course, in America, they say hate and be God three. For waiting. Boys, they waiting the boy. What exactly do the boys want to use the tampon for? Just like what Greg said. They won't put them for their eye, I'll be for their nose, I'll be ear, I'll be wear. To do what exactly? It's crazy. But I love to see this. I love that these high school boys did this. But of course, who don't love don't you all love it? Because they don't want to be consumed with the work nonsense. Everybody's actually tired. But of course, I love that women are beginning to wake up and tilting towards the right knowledge and tilting towards traditional values and high school boys had to teach adults adult men or adults the right thing to do and hear parents coming out to say hate bigotry i'm ashamed of these people it just don't make sense but i'm sure tons of people have got a different opinion regarding this and i really love your honest contribution to this you can share the useful information you think might be really helpful make sure to like comment and subscribe and all of that stuff and until next time see you in the next video